important for to serve our troops and families, obviously. Our service members, especially the wounded, ill, and injured population and their families, require an enormous amount of support so they can heal from their injuries, both obvious and maybe not so obvious. We're particularly excited because this also gives us the opportunity to tell the public that the USO is still alive and well, even more so than it was when it was founded 75 years ago. This is an exciting time for the USO as we grow and evolve in lockstep with the changing needs of military members and their families. Our partnership with the USO and anytime we can support the men and women who have served, have served or are serving our country is critical to us. 15% of our employees here in Virginia are definitely either veterans, retirees, or part of the active reserve, including myself. I'm also a veteran of the U.S. Army. So it's, it's a commitment we have as a company, it's a commitment we have as an organization, and here in our community, companies like us, we see the value of hiring men and women who have served. They bring a tremendous amount of value and loyalty and expertise to an organization, and we're really behind that. Well, we just opened in December of 2015, and it was really important to us to be part of the community that we are in and um, make those connections, um, get to know the people, and this is just a really cool way that we can give back and get involved. So the Warriors here have an opportunity to participate in a variety of events. Some simple ones like softball, racquetball, horseback riding, adaptive surfing, as well as one of my favorites, skydiving. So it's a phenomenal amount of events they get to participate in and, and really show the things that they can do. And that's one of the big things about this event. It's not what they can't do, it's what they can do. And that, that's, that's special because I look at some of the things they're doing, I can't do them. We started our journey on Monday in Washington, D.C. at the Pentagon at the 9-11 Memorial. And we rode our bikes each day and finished here today. And we always uh, appreciate it. This is our eighth year finishing in Virginia Beach at the Patriotic Festival. The mission continues as a national nonprofit organization. Um, the purpose of it is geared towards getting veterans reintegrated in the community by giving them another purpose. So we tackle some of the toughest issues in our communities, like homelessness and at-risk youth. So a uh, prime example, we're getting ready to renovate a house now in Norfolk for homeless female veterans. Oh yeah, it's a huge event. Um, I would, this is our first time showing, sponsoring at this event. It's, it's pretty incredible and overwhelming almost because there's so, so many people and so many things going on. You, know, you got everything from all the military units out here. Uh, they're doing demos on the beach. Um, you've got concerts going on here as well. So it's great, great time. USO Show Troop is awesome. It's a group of 50 to 60 individuals that are out of New York City. They're managed by USO Metro New York and they send them out all over the world to perform in groups of three to five people. We're lucky this week to have five of their top performers here with us to add a little excitement and spice to what is going to be a fabulous week of fun. Well, um, you know, I'm a prior military veteran. You know, he's a veteran as well that's with me right now. And, uh, you know, the first thing when you get out of the military is you want to take care of the guys that are currently serving because you know how it is. You've been there, you've done that. You know how hard it can be sometimes, especially on the families when you're deployed. So when we're looking to sponsor an event, we always look to find something that's going to give back to the military, give back to the vets and all that as well. So. Well, I've got a personal commitment to this because having grown up in a military family and also serving in the military myself, I know what the importance of it is to kind of rally around, almost like a community, rallying around these individuals who have kind of given their life for our freedom. And this is a phenomenal way for them to go through a rehabilitation and for us to celebrate some of the things that they can do and help them through their recovery. 